Hey everyone, ho ho, hope all is well. I'm Miles Dyer and welcome to the final Cyber Safe Weekly of 2022. It's been snowing in the UK this week and everyone seems to be loving it. Well, almost everyone. Oh, for God. Whether we're talking about cybersecurity or traversing heavy snow, individuals may be aware of the risks and potential consequences, but still choose to take them anyway. A person may know that driving in heavy snow can be dangerous and increase the likelihood of a car accident, but choose to do it because they need to get to their destination or because they believe they are capable of handling the conditions. Oh. In the realm of cybersecurity, Individuals and organisations may be aware of the risks associated with not properly protecting their information and systems, but they prioritise the convenience of letting good practices slide, or become complacent believing they are immune to cyber attacks. Also, I just wanted an excuse to use these clips in this week's video. Oh man. Next, we have an awesome LinkedIn post from Microsoft's Chief Security Advisor Sarah Armstrong-Smith, who discusses the importance of language. Talking about cybersecurity based on negativity, fear, uncertainty and doubt does little to get people infused. So we need to consider how we change the language and visual cues to embrace the right behaviours and outcomes and get people to want to learn more. What are your thoughts on this? Can negative language ever be effective? I'm definitely a believer in using language to empower people to move towards better security behaviours as opposed to scaring them away from something. Using positive language doesn't stop us from addressing the real threats and risks. Sarah goes on to say, it's one of the reasons I like to tell stories, use analogies and share experiences in a language that resonates so that it's relatable and memorable. And this reminded me of the brilliant Maya Angelou who once said, people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. So ask yourself, how do you make other people feel about bettering their security behaviours? Next up, here on CyberSafe Weekly, we're not just about having the big picture discussions. We also love it when members of the cybersecurity community bring to our attention great new safety tips and tech features. Director of SANS Security Awareness, Lance Spitzner this week, posted about a new Apple communication safety feature. He wrote, just learned about this new safety feature on iPhone and Mac that parents can enable to protect their kids. It can identify and help protect children who are being pressured to share nude photographs. We will include a link to the Apple page which has a detailed guide to this impressive new feature. At the end of the day, cybersecurity consists of methods, technologies and processes that should empower us not only in the workplace, but in our personal lives too. And speaking of Lance, last week he joined our founder and CEO Oz for a webinar with fellow guests Jinan from Forrester, Janet from Zurich Insurance and Tokes from Denton to discuss 2023 security awareness predictions. It was an incredible one hour discussion and it is all available to watch on demand absolutely free. So check it out if you haven't already. And if you want to take part in our 2023 security prediction survey, we are giving every survey respondent a £20 voucher to use on our online merch store. And since it's the season, we're also throwing in a £250 or local equivalent Amazon gift card to one lucky winner. Terms and conditions apply. It's going to feel a little strange not filming these for a few weeks, but I am looking forward to taking a bit of a break and I hope you all have a fantastic one too. But to finish things off, some of the CyberSafe tribe had a few things they'd like to say. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! Hi everyone, I just wanted to wish everyone in the cybersecurity community a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Stay safe and warm everyone, see you next year. Merry Christmas everyone. Merry Christmas and best wishes for the new year. See you in 2023. I'm wishing you a super califragilistic expialiosis holiday and a happy new year. Merry Christmas from Sipe Oh, that's what you meant by the night before Christmas. Oh well, Merry Christmas everyone. Have an amazing break. I hope you get to spend quality time with loved ones. But also I want to acknowledge that this time of year 
isn't easy for everyone. And so for those that are struggling out there, I just want to say huge love and respect for you. And I hope that you're able to make the most of it. And with that said, have a wonderful rest of your year and I'll see you in 2023. Bye-bye.